The head of the U.S. Postal Service was questioned again today by members of Congress about proposed changes that could slow down mail service. Our Mike Marut spoke with the leader of the local letter carriers union, and he says while operational changes are to be expected every year, he's surprised at how many sorting machines have been removed. You need any additional funding to be able to successfully deliver ballots this November? No, we do not, sir. On Saturday, the House of Representatives passed a $25 billion funding bill for the Postal Service. The bill is passed. But it's not expected to pass the Senate. On Monday, members of the House Committee on Oversight and Reform questioned Postmaster General Louis DeJoy about directives to remove mail sorting machines and reallocate post office resources months before the 2020 election. I think there's a lot of different issues going on uh, within the country that impact uh, mail delay, including the actions uh, that we took with regard to transportation. The changes from the beginning of DeJoy's tenure as Postmaster General resulted in five machines no longer being used in and around Austin. One flat machine removed and four sorted machines roped off. Uh, the sorting machines can process about 30,000 letters an hour. But these changes happen every year, according to William Moody. But these changes don't happen to this scale. I think the number they're saying is like 641 or it's an amazing amount of machines being taken out at one time. Even with some of the removals already done, Moody says the Postal Service can still handle all the mail in ballots for this year. However, if anyone is nervous about their vote not making it in on time, Moody suggests just request the ballot earlier. Reporting in Austin, Mike Marut, KVU News.